All right, so I have some pretty cool breaking news for you, and it's baseball news. The MLB and MLB uh, Players Association have just agreed to unionize the minor leagues. So the MLB Players Association membership is going to go from uh, about 1,100 to 1,200 the majors to about 5,000 now because they're going to get to unionize everybody at the major league and the ma- in the minor leagues now. So now they're going to have their own CBA, which is negotiated independently of the one that they're a part of when they come up to the major leagues and only when they're up in the major leagues. So it's something to keep in mind. Okay, one of the biggest complaints that baseball has had for a while, and even politicians, um, was low salaries for the for the very low, you know, the minor leaguers who are not on major league contracts. So, and that's one reason why these negotiations are, were, playing the new CBA, which is like $700,000. But that, remember, that's a, a rate when they're up at the majors. So if they're... When they're up in the major, if they're up for a month, they're making that 700k per month rate only when they're up here. And when they go back down, they go back to their lower salary. So that's one of the reasons they're doing this. And there's been some antitrust issues with with, with government and and baseball. So they're trying to rectify this stuff. But this is a way of minor leaguers having their own representation now by the MLBPA and negotiating better lower level salaries to make them a more livable wage, um, particularly. Since they generate a lot of revenue for the for the major league team, so this is a pretty stunning piece of news, and it's a good piece of news. And, and, and getting baseball players, you know, who have to ride on buses and long ass, uncomfortable bus rides from one place to the next, uh, you know, when until they're up to the major leagues, um, this gives them a more livable wage and it helps them support their families and do whatever else they need to do while they're trying their damnedest to get up to the majors. So. I wanted to share this news. I thought it was pretty cool. I'm happy about it. I'm glad that ball players are going to be taken care of a little bit better now. And you know, and Tony Clark already announced this. Jeff Passon. It's all over MLBTradeRumors.com. It's all over everywhere now. And Tony Clark is, you know, stressing how they're excited they are to kind of come together and and accomplish this major goal. And that's something that was discussed for a while now. But unionizing all the levels of the minor leagues. And keep in mind, you got rookie ball, you got low A, you got high A, you got double A, you got triple A. There's going to be, and again, look, the membership is almost, it's going to pretty much quadruple. The amount of people who are going to get union protected wages now. So, when they're not up in the major league. So, that's pretty damn cool. Pretty damn cool. So, by the way, you know, make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't yet because I like to share news like this too. Not only Yankee news, not only breaking news, and this is breaking news, but like other stuff that's not only Yankee news or contracts and trades and call ups and whatever and promotions and blah, blah, blah. This is pretty damn news because it's pretty damn good news. So, it could affect a lot of people. A lot of people, and keep in mind, you know, international international prospects and and whatever else. Like a lot of these guys are not first round draft picks, they're not getting these monster signing bonuses. So this is going to really, really affect a lot of players. Um, but it's it had to happen at, at some point. So, but minor league baseball forming their own union now, and it's going to be led by the MLBPA. So pretty damn good news. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you all tonight for the live stream, and hopefully, celebrating another Yankees win. Over and out.